we're here trying Massey's latest, latest telehandler offering. Um, the 9305 is three tonnes of 5.8 metres. Um, as previous, made by Bobcat in the old Sambron factory. It's 100 horsepower, Dutes engine, hydrostatic transmission. Although it's Bobcat made, you get a sense that it's been sort of Masseyized, the cab feels good quality. Um, although to let it, let it down a little bit, it feels the controls are a bit all over the place. Uh, where the horn is, is actually where your slow transmission is. With a glazed door, it feels like the old John Deere handlers to drive um, because they had the problem with a high boom pivot. Um, this has got a much lower boom pivot, so you get great visibility out the, out the right hand side. Uh, it feels really comfy. The, the wide cab gives, gives a good sense of space in here. Uh, the, the, the cab suspended on its Zebedee style spring. I went full chat across a set of, set of train lines and it hardly felt anything. The machine feels really stable as you're trying to, trying to load this trailer. Um, one massive pain though is that the crowd angle doesn't quite go far enough down. It comes really far back but nowhere near far enough down. Um, unloading grain would be a bit of a pain. It's a really frustrating machine because it feels really good to drive but there's a few bits that just let it down. When you're trying to pick up a load of muck, it's a bit of a pain because the hydrostat gives way. It won't let the wheel slip as much as you want. It's got loads of guts but it won't let it use it. It's got a full belly pan underneath it to keep everything enclosed, including the prop shaft, brakes, everything. Under the bonnet, you find a 100 horsepower Dukes engine and a massive radiator. Um, it's split water and hydraulic oil. It's a bit worrying that it looks a bit dear to replace to me and a bit of a pain. Servicing looks pretty easy, oil's right there. Diesel's over the back, but there's a big old plate that you can take off to get to it nice and easy, of course. Air's there, but aren't they all? These connectors, you push them in, and they dump the pressure, and they actually work, unlike most of the others. Slice spray's got nothing on this. If you're gonna get one of these hitches, I suggest you, you invest in a four-wheel trailer, because it won't pick up a whole lot. If you're going down the road, and you end up going too fast, like, of course, none of us do. If you do, then it's, it seemingly slams the brakes on, it reverses the hydrostat, and it, it, it pulls your face off, it stops so hard. It's a really good telehandler, it really is, but it's let down by a few little things. The crowd doesn't tilt anywhere near far enough, so we couldn't have one here. Of course, companies in the UK like Cherry and Albert, they do offer replacements, but you've got to buy that one to start with. It's placed in the market about 10 grand cheaper than others, but it comes to, at the end of the line, in 10 years, what's it gonna be worth in comparison? And at the moment, with an unproven record, we just don't know. <laughs>